All right, we're live. All right, so quiz. I have the one with the uh, A, B, C. So if you have the one with triangle D, F, it's very similar. Just the numbers might change a little. But so the first part was just asking you to identify hypotenuse, adjacent, and uh, opposite side. So if you're using this as your reference angle, which one would be the hypotenuse? A, B. Very good. This is your hypotenuse. So hypotenuse would be A, B. Which one would be your opposite? Remember how I kept telling you to draw an arrow to help you out? That's your opposite. So your opposite is A, C. And by default, which one would have to be your adjacent? Uh, B, C or C, B. Uh, really, the order of the letter did not matter as long as you use both of those letters. Okay? All right. Uh, for number four to six, a lot of you guys were overthinking this. Okay? Remember that shortcut that I told you, so ka toa I would have used it here. Because, look, if I'm finding the sine of the reference angle right here, sine is opposite over hypon hypotenuse, right? So label your parts of your triangle. This should be your hypotenuse. This will be your opposite, and this will be your adjacent. If you would have labeled your triangle, you should have had no problem with this because sine is opposite, which is 3, divided by hypotenuse, which is 5, and that was your answer. For tangent, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 3, adjacent is 4. 3 over 4. And last but not least, cosine. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is 4. Hypotenuse is 5. Okay? So that should have been the answer for the first six problems. All right, this problems right here were only worth two points each and the quiz was out of 36 so some of you guys rocked this but then did not do so well on the bottom part which this is the one that I really counted more points because each one of 7, 8 and 9 are worth 4 points 10 and 11 were worth 6 points okay so let's talk about number 7 okay number 7 was asking you to find X and he gave you a reference angle of 58 this is your reference angle so this is your hypotenuse and this is your opposite side. Knowing that, what ratio has to do with opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. So that means you have to do the sine of 58 degrees, which equals to opposite, which is x, over hypotenuse, which is 22. Put this over 1 and cross multiply. x times 1 is x. 22 times sine of 58 degrees and then plug that in your calculator make sure that your mode is on degree so 22 sine of 58 degrees hit enter and I got 18.66 and that should have been your answer for that one okay number eight here's your reference angle if you label your triangle this becomes a lot easier okay a lot of you guys got confused here which one is your hypotenuse this bottom right here a lot of you guys told me that the 10 was the hypotenuse and that's not true what is the 10 what side is it the opposite or the adjacent this is your opposite side and the X happens to be your adjacent so then let me ask you you have opposite and adjacent what ratio is that tangent so that means you should have wrote tangent of 33 equals well according to Sokatoa it's opposite over adjacent so opposite is 10 adjacent is X put this over 1 and cross multiply 10 times tangent of 33 some of you guys got here but then did not know what to do who can tell me what do I do from here Darren what do I do Fantastic. You're trying to get that x by itself. So if we divide by tangent of 33, that cancels out. So now we can use our calculator. We can say 10 divided by tangent of 33. Close your parentheses. Hit enter. And your answer should have been 15.40. Uh, this is meters. This one was feet. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Uh, number nine. If this is your reference angle, label your sides. The 15 happens to be what side? 
the hypotenuse. Fantastic. And the six? Adjacent. You're adjacent. Which ratio has to do with adjacent and hypotenuse? Cosine. Cosine. But in this case, you're looking for what? For an angle, correct? So that means cosine of theta equals opposite, I mean adjacent over hypotenuse, correct? How do I find an angle? Inverse. Inverse. So that means you have to do inverse cosine of 6 over 15. So then when you go to your calculator, you hit second cosine of 6 over 15. And your angle was approximately 66.42 degrees. All right. Questions over any of those three problems? We're good? All right. These were the most missed problems. And I assume that's we're going to be the most missed problems because I didn't give you a triangle. You had to draw your own. But let's talk about it, okay? A surveyor is 16 miles from a mountain. So here's my mountain. The angle of elevation from the ground to the top of the mountain is 15. All right, so I'm going to pretend this is the surveyor. So from here to here is how much? 16. 16. Angle of elevation. So that's if I'm standing here and I'm looking up, your angle of elevation is located right here. So that's going to be 15 degrees. Correct? It's asking you, what is the height of the mountain? So this was your mountain, and you don't know the height, so that's going to be your x. So now you have a triangle, you have an angle, this is your opposite, and this is your adjacent. What ratio would that be? Tangent. It would be tangent, okay? So tangent of 15 equals to what over what? Fantastic. X over 16. Put this over 1, cross multiply. X equals to 16 times tangent of 15. We'll put that in our calculators. So 16 times the tangent of 15 degrees. We hit enter and it is approximately 4.29 and miles. So it wasn't too terrible. Some of the mistakes that I saw is that a lot of you guys put 16 on the hypotenuse. Okay, so be careful. All right, number 11. We have an airplane that's flying, so we're going to pretend this is our airplane. And it says that it is 35 feet from the ground. So that means that it is vertically, right? So this distance right here is 3,500. Okay? It says an airport. So here's our airport right here. And we're making triangles, so let's go ahead and finish that triangle. At an angle of depression of 77 degrees. How far is the airplane for the air from the airport? So look at distance. I'm looking for this. Some of you guys were looking for this. I even told you I want the horizontal distance. Now the other problem that we had in this problem in this specific question is where does the 77 degree go? Some of you guys told me that this was 77 degrees, and that's not correct. Remember that the angle of depression you needed to draw your own line. This right here is 77 degrees. And you can use that to tell me where else is 77 degrees. Right here in the bottom. Remember that I told you that the angle of elevation and the angle of depression were exactly the same measurement? You guys remember that? Okay. So now you have a triangle. You have the opposite and you have the adjacent. Again, this is tangent. Tangent of 77 degrees equals to 3,500 over x. Put this over 1. 3,500 equals to x times tangent of 77 degrees. And one more time, some of you guys got here and got stuck. What do I do? I just showed you an example previously. What do I do? Somebody else. What do I do? How do I get x by itself? Trey. We're going to divide both sides by tangent of 77 degrees. Very good. That cancels out, so that means that x equals, we're going to use our calculator, 3,500 divided by the tangent of 77 degrees, and it's approximately 808.04 feet. Okay? Uh, if you had the other version, it was the exact same process for every problem, just the number switched.
Okay. All right. If you have any further questions and you're in my third period class and you're watching this video, you can come to tutorials and I will help you out.